Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Just a quick update because we have had the test results back. I just wanted to let you know of the timings and how long they actually took to come back. So we sent the test kit off in the post box on the 6th of June and then it was remarked as received on the 11th of June and then it changed to in analysis on the 12th of June, the day after. And then the day after that, on the 13th of June, it was marked ready to collect. So when the test results are ready to collect, all you do is just log on to your account. You click on my results and it will come back saying negative, positive. And the blood sample that we sent of Adam, so wasn't, we couldn't actually get enough blood out of his finger. Um, so we didn't get it up to the mark on the actual tube. So that came back insufficient. So we've had to go to Boots, uh, we had to get a separate test that only collects a tiny little droplet of blood. It was £30 from Boots, I'll put the link below. Um, and we had to buy one of them and do that to get the HIV results as well because it was insufficient on the ones we had to send off because you had to send quite a lot of blood with the other ones. So I've put a video, I've made a video of the HIV test that we bought separately. So I'll put that on now. Um, and I'll go through that and how we did that and how all that works. So this is the BioShore Self HIV test that we did buy from Boots. So it was £30 and we did collect that from store. And just on the back there it does say that you do have, you do get the results within 15 minutes. So it's really quick and simple to use. So the good thing about this is you don't have to send it off to any labs or anything. So you do just get the results there and then. And on the back, it does tell you what's included, what's not included, which was just the 15 minute timer, which can be done on your phone or just by keeping an, an eye on the time. And it also tells you of the disposal as well. So you do get a bag to put all the, um, all the kit in, like all the needle and everything afterwards. Um, so you can dispose of that safely. So these are the instructions on how to use the test and also how to read your results. So it does say when you're ready, um, the first step is just to make sure that you have got everything in your kit to complete that. And then just looking through the um, instructions now, it does give you step by step um, instructions, how to collect and how to test, how to read your results. So the first thing that we did open was the actual test itself. So it's in a very secure package. So you do get a plaster, the pink um, square item is the actual pin that you do. It's just like a diabetes test. So you do put it on the side of your finger and then push down and it'll just make a little click and it'll make um, just a pin prick in your finger so you can collect the amount of blood there. And that's the actual test itself. And it does have an indicator line. It is set out just like a pregnancy test as well. So just looking at the first step, that was to prepare the test before you collected the blood sample. So you just pull the stopper off of the top of the test. And then you do insert it into the compartment in the tray. And I think that's just to keep everything stable so you can stand the test in there once you have taken the blood sample. 
and it does have a um, aluminium foil on the top if you just leave that on because you do have to pierce that once you have taken the blood and next you just take the protect uh, the protective um, stopper off of the needle and as you can see there the needle does pop out um, it just pricks your finger. You have to do it on the side of your finger, it does suggest. So it just pricks the side of your finger and then you just need to wait until it. you do collect like a, a, a tiny ball of blood on top of your, your finger. So the next step, once you have pricked your finger and got the tiny bit of blood on, on the surface of your finger, is to collect it. So you do just touch the tip of your um, the test on the drop of blood that has come out on the surface and the test will automatically draw up your blood in there. So as you can see, this was after we pricked Adam's finger. It was a tiny amount of blood that you do have to collect. So it was very simple, very easy. We just touched the top of the um, blood that did come out of the pinprick hole and, and it just went up the test. And then you just pierce the silver aluminium foil and push that into the, um, the tub that you did put in there at the beginning. And it does say that you need to start your timer for 15 minutes. After three minutes, you just need to check to make sure the test is running. So make sure that the you can see red going up the white part of the test and if not it does tell you to push that even further which we had to do we did wait three minutes and as you can see the red is coming up now um, but before we waited three minutes and there was nothing there so we had to push it in a little bit more we didn't push it in enough now the one red line has appeared so depending on your results, there'll be one red line, two red lines, or a red line and a faded line. And that's just a video of it a bit later on. The red line does get a lot clearer. So you just have to peel back the results. And as you can see there, the one red line means the test is negative. Two red lines or one red line and a faded line means that it is positive. And if you don't get any lines at all, it means the test didn't work, which is what happened to us at first because um, we didn't push it in the compartment far enough because there is a foam bit at the bottom um, and you do have to push it quite hard in there. And if you have found this video interesting, if you do want to share it with others or let them know of the channel, and if you do want to subscribe, you can carry on following us on our journey to surrogacy. And hopefully we will be back soon uh, with some more news.